Hi there, today I want to explain you two phenomenons. One is called positive thermotaxis and the other one is called positive hydrotropism. I'll start with the thermotaxis and I'm going to explain it on the example of mosquitoes. Um, the word thermotaxis is a compound word consisting of the word taxis, which means a response in which the direction of movement is affected by an environmental cue. And that sounds pretty complex, but it, all it says is that an organism like a cell, or even a whole animal, um, can be influenced by the environment, and if it's the direction of movement that changes, you call it taxis. The prefix uh, specializes the environmental cue that causes the taxis, so thermal, for example, defines the taxis to be aroused by temperature. The word positive only refers to to the organism being attracted by heat, so if it was offended by high temperatures, for example, it, you would call it a negative thermotaxis. Mosquitoes are species acting positive thermotaxic though, and they use heat receptors, which is stimulated by warm arising air currents, and help them to find hosts, for example. In evolution, thermotaxis plays an important role for mosquitoes, as you can see, because they are naturally attracted by hosts, which secures them a nutrient supply, and by habitats with an optimal growth temperature. My second phenomenon is positive hydrotropism, which I'm going to explain in the example of apple trees. And in the word hydrotropism, we find the word tropism, which is an involuntary response to an environmental stimulation. And hydro, which refers to water as the stimulation. Apple trees, like most other plants, have a positive hydrotropism, so their roots grow towards the water, and they feel the stimulation on a cellular level, which makes them grow faster, or lets them shrink away in dry conditions, but it's no directional response. The advantage of this phenomenon is very basic and probably the most important, because this way they stay hydrated. I hope you enjoyed my video and I could help you a little bit, maybe you've learned something. See you next time!